excitement, butterflies flying. You had me trying. Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make a ton of gift card videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I also make a bunch of other lifestyle content here on my channel. Lots of mommy videos, cooking, what's for dinner videos, clean with me's, home decor, plus size fashion, beauty, all that type of stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and join your little family. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. And today's video is a highly requested one. It is what I got my kids for Valentine's Valentine's Day. I make gift card videos particularly for kids throughout the whole entire year and I think this is like my third or fourth, it's definitely my third, maybe my fourth uh, Valentine's Day gift guide and I'm super excited to share it with you. There is a way too much stuff this year. I went way overboard. It gets bigger and bigger every year and it's a problem. I have a problem. Woo! Add to card is like my like my motto for life apparently um, but I did do something a little bit different this year that I'm excited to share with you guys since the girls are virtual learning and home normally they would be going to school and exchanging Valentine's with their classmates but this year that they are not since they are virtual learning they can't do that and so instead I came up with an idea of having the girls individually go to the store and pick out something that their sister would like a valentine for their sister um, if you don't know i have two girls my oldest is olive and she just turned six and my youngest is eleanor and she will be four in the beginning of march so we're just rounding up and calling her four um, and so they got to go to the store and pick out something that their sister would like um, and they got a little overboard and we just went with it this year because it's a pandemic and things are crazy and they don't get to exchange valentines with their friends so we let them go a little overboard but I think I will continue this tradition because it ended up being so much fun and I loved how much they were thinking about their sister and what they would like and candy that they would like and a little gift and all of that type of stuff it was so much fun for them and it was fun for me to kind of see how much they know their sister um, and so I think I will continue it every year I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit because it got a little out of hand as you will see and I got a little out of hand which you will see um, but I'm really excited to share with all of this stuff with you yeah, let's just get started. I'm gonna start with the girls' gift exchange and what the Valentine's that they got for each other, and then I will share with what my husband and I got for our girls. So, of course, disclaimer, please don't feel the need to spend this much money on your kids. There's not, it's not like I spent a lot of money. They're actually really inexpensive items, but just don't feel the need to do that. These are just ideas. You don't have to do anything. Like this is just something that we enjoy doing. I know before it was like, I called it Valentine and stuff like that. I think more in the recent years, I see parents calling it like love boxes for their kids, which I think is a really cute idea. So I think it's probably what we're going to go with is a love box. Um, and I definitely need to buy bigger containers because I don't think I have big enough stuff to like give them a love box in um, but yeah let's just start with what Olive got Eleanor so the first thing she got her was the only actual Valentine we bought was a pack of these Valentine's these are lol and if you guys been watching my channel for a while you will know that Eleanor loves lol Ollie's starting to get into it now too um, but these are just 16 little Valentines with a bunch of pencils. Now they're not exchanging these with anybody, but I know that they'll still have fun being able to like write on the Valentines and give them to one another. Plus, we can never have too many pencils. We're in like that slump of pencil time with school right now. So these are $2.48 at Walmart. And then she picked up this, which are was just a box of chocolates. These are little milk chocolate hearts. These were five dollars, which I feel like is so much money for these. But they're LOL, so um, anyway, I'm sure Eleanor will end up enjoying this and using it for her Shopkins or who knows what, but it's cute, so that's what Ollie got her. And then she also, um, they got to pick out a little outfit for each of the kids, each of the girls. So this is what Ollie picked up for Eleanor. Everything, I believe, either came from Walmart or Amazon, so I will have it linked below, but the, the, these outfits came from walmart um she picked her all these little shorts these are actually from the geranimals 365 kids line so it's in the little girl section um eleanor is really really tiny she has really long legs and arms like her dad but she's very very small so these are probably going to be pretty big in the waist and kind of baggy all around her little butt and everything but they are long in length so she'll have time to grow into them but they're just these really pretty lavender little shorts and then they have a fun sparkly rainbow stripe on either side i think all of 
have had similar ones to these last Valentine's Day, but they were denim. Um, these are just cute. I love their little easy play clothes. It's all we're getting these days. Like, we're not going anything special, anything fancy. I'm not trying to worry about, like, all these really adorable, cute, complicated outfits. Like, we are just getting play clothes because it's all we need them for. So until things have changed, um, I'm not worried about it. So they're just getting fun little play things. So... This is what um, Ollie picked out for Eleanor for her shirt. Eleanor's really into My Little Pony now. Ollie went through her phase of it and now Eleanor's going through her phase. And so this is just a fun little My Little Pony. It's not really a cropped top, but it's like cropped-ish, I guess. I don't know, it's cinched in the bottom. We have Rainbow Dash, Twilight Sparkle, Pinkie Pie. They have little sequins on them. It's really cute. It's kind of like a terry cloth material. It's really soft, just a cute little shirt. Um, and this was also 365 kids line. They were all together in the same area. This was $7.98. So that is what Ollie picked out for clothes wise for Eleanor. And then she picked out, this was her main gift, her main Valentine she picked out for her. Um, this was, oh goodness, the LOL surprise, deluxe present surprise exclusive doll and pet um this was freaking 30 dollars. it was 29.99 why there's two things in here i just it's so heavy too like i don't understand why this is so expensive um i feel like i've fallen off the lol train of like support because you guys were right that lol glamper I, if you guys watched my what i got my kids for christmas video so many of you guys were like it's not worth it it's not worth it you knew it's not worth it. Toys just fall apart so much now. Like, it won't stay together for the life of me. And it's so frustrating. Like, what happened to the good quality toys, man? Anyway, so we'll see. I like the LOL OMG dolls. I feel like they are worth the price. But I'm not big on pretty much anything else, LOL. But she is. This would be a fun birthday gift. I think it's more like a birthday-themed present. But it's still fun. It's cute. That's what Ollie picked for her. Would I buy it voluntarily again? Probably not. Um, okay, so now we are going to move on to what Eleanor got Olive. Um, so, so candy wise, Eleanor picked out these warheads for her. These are the Chewy Cubes Mildly Sour, Wildly Sweet. They had like a more intense sour ones. If you guys grew up eating warheads, let me know below. I loved them specifically the black cherry and the blue raspberry they were my jam um these are a bit more mild olive loves anything sour she likes sour candy so these are the ones that eleanor picked out for her um and then for the outfit she picked out for her she picked out this little number this is from the wonder nation section um again this is a size small this was 9.98 it's just this really pretty little dress it's like a white flutter sleeve top and then it comes out into this fun like tutu style skirt with little silver hearts and unicorns because it's still unicorn obsessed over here so it's just fun this one's nice because it's you can easily dress this up if we happen to go anywhere which i don't know where we're going um and she also can wear it just for fun and play and for school because we still do online learning, but she can still wear it there. Um, and then the big gift that she picked for Olive was... The big gift that she picked for Olive was another Rainbow High doll. So if you watch what I got my kids for Christmas, that was their big ask this year specifically olive she they both are super into rainbow high right now and dolls in general barbie rainbow high that's her thing um and so this is the one that ollie hasn't had i think from the first line um and then she has the complete rainbow so and then some um but this is the one she didn't have this is skylar bradshaw she's a blue one super cute love their outfits i definitely like these dolls after getting them and opening them up for them for christmas time the quality of these are really nice nice um the clothes are great these are really really nice dolls i feel like they are worth the price versus some of the lol stuff but we've really liked these so i do like them a lot do i can i say like more anyway that's what um eleanor picked for olive because she knew that olive wanted that one 
All right, so we're gonna move on. Oh wait, she also picked up this little pack of Barbie accessories. Um, the girls are still super, super into Barbie and all the accessories, they use them for Rainbow High, Barbie, all of their stuff. Um, but Barbie's not come up with a new line where everything's like in these reusable bags, which is nice. And I think that they're a little bit cheaper. Um, and there's a ton of little accessories in this little thing. It was only a couple dollars. There's some necklaces, headbands, uh, purses, uh, sunglasses, shoes. This is a little beach one, which I think is really cute and fun. So this is the one she picked up for her sister. Um, I'm really interested to see all the new Barbie uh, launches. I feel like there's a lot of really good stuff. So that is what she picked out for Olive. Um, and now let's get into what I got the girls and what my husband and I just got them mutually. Uh, yeah, let's just go. <laughs> first things first, we'll start with these. The girls desperately needed some new cups. And we are still a major sippy cup family in this house. Kill me if that's not your thing. Like, I know that some people are, like, really against sippy cups past a certain age. I see so many, like, things on Instagram and stuff like that where moms are giving their kids, like, glass mason jars or, like, for, like, aesthetic reasons or, like, um, the complete, like, lidless cups. And I just want to know what is your magic power to allow your kids, like, how do they not break the glass slash, like, spill everywhere? Like, my kids can drink out of lidless cups just fine. Like, they got that skill down and hit that developmental milestone. But the issue is that they still are super young and they're kids and they spill everything. So, um, they normally just have those at my mom's when we have, like, a family dinner. They will go lidless. But any other time sippy cups because they just want to travel with them and I just don't trust them without lids so I don't know sue me if this isn't your thing but we love the munchkin 360 cups these are just another version of these these are glow in the dark which is so much fun the girls love anything glow in the dark and these will be nice for like water cups in the middle of the night easy for them to be able to find um so I got two of these I think they were pretty inexpensive they were on Amazon I got Olive this little space one she's really into space right now um I like these because they're gender neutral and then Eleanor got this one, which is just a fun little campy one with stars and a little fox and a little tent. These are just so cute. They make me happy. Um, like I said, I really like the Munchkin line. They're really easy to clean. They work out really well. Um, and these had really good reviews. I was going to get them these like really cute, fun, cool, hip water bottle things. And there's like 55 parts to clean. And it's just such a pain. So um, instead, we went with sippy cups. Just let me know if your your kids are still drinking out. I mean, I got a six-year-old and a four-year-old, and they're still going strong in those. Okay. Um, next thing I picked up, because what is Valentine's Day without little squishies? I found these squ uh, squishmallows, squashmallows. What are, what are these called? Squishmallows. I know these are pretty popular. Um, I always have a hard time finding these until I go to Kroger. Kroger always has these. I know Kroger isn't like a fully national. I mean, it's national, but it's not everywhere. I think the equivalent in some other places is Ralph's um, or not Publix. I think it's Ralph's. I'm not positive on that. But Kroger has them um, if you have a Kroger near you. Anyway, I always find them like year after year there. Um, I didn't know they had little mini ones, but I thought these were fun. I was going to get them like the like medium sized ones that they already have, but I thought the mini ones were a little bit more fun. I got this one for um, Olive, his little jellyfish, and then the little. Is this their stinger? Legs? Antennas, not antennas. What what you call them? The little jellyfish leggies. What is this? I can't think right now. Anyway, guess I gotta go back to kindergarten. Um, this one has like really fun, pretty iridescence to it, and then like all the little ribbons. I just thought this was so pretty. So it's a little cute, little happy one. And then this one is for Eleanor. She loves puppies, and this one looks like our pug. I think it's supposed to be a bulldog, but we're calling it our pug. And um, I just thought they're cute. They're just fun and happy. If you need to know their names, just her or something. This is Danielle. That's kind of a weird name. And this is Janet. Janet the jellyfish and Danielle the dog. It was just such a funny name for these things. Anyway, they're cute. Um, they were on sale at Kroger. They are originally $5. I think I got these for like $2, $3, $2, $2, I think. So, anyway, enough of that. Um, next, I got these educational things for them. The girls really love um, reading and books and stuff like that, and that is something that I continue to try to, in every single gift-giving experience and holiday, I always get them either a book 
or some sort of educational item that's really important to me. So for Eleanor, I decided to get the Scholastic White Clean Workbook. We've been doing a lot of worksheets um, and we have been doing a lot of the dry erase little like you put a worksheet inside and you erase, but I thought something that she can just sit down and do, you know, go flip through each page without a problem um, would be good for her independence and something she'd enjoy doing to have her own little workbook to practice with, like she, her sister has. So I got this. This was Scholastics. Um, it was a couple dollars off of Amazon, probably like six dollars, five dollars, something like that off of Amazon. Um, and it just comes with a bunch of different writing and tracing activities. We have all the letters of the alphabet, and then there's also writing numbers um practicing drawing shapes and patterns um writing words and then like some fun matching activities and stuff like that um fun bright colors bright pictures just perfect for her age she's really working on her handwriting right now and writing in general the only thing i would recommend is they do come with their own marker but i find that with workbooks like these the markers that are included are really hard to erase i mean like leg has gone to sleep and it hurts so bad okay anyway they're really hard to erase and so i recommend just getting an expo marker they just work 50 to 5 million times better um but that is eleanor's and for ollie she is now reading which is crazy she's loving every aspect of it she's doing such a good job um so i got her a pack of just level one readers these are the disney reading disney learning reading adventures the leveled stories for beginning readers these are the disney princess line i think there's about no there's 10 books in here they're really 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 short and really really easy to read they're just easy readers um like look how thin that is it's like a little pamphlet um just a couple sentences sentences per page they look a lot of sight words in here easy things to sound out so a bunch of those um came in this pack there's like level pre pre one level one level two level three um but I think that she's going to really like these. She really, really enjoys being able to read on her own, um, specifically during quiet time um, or being able to read to my mom and stuff like that. And so I wanted to be able to get her something that she didn't need help with and she can just practice reading by herself and she can go through all 10 books without much time. So that is her little reading uh, educational activity. And then I also got her a pack of sight words. These are the Scholastic ones little flashcards. These were a couple dollars on Amazon as well. Um, these are, there's 50 sight words in here. I know sight words kind of vary depending on the curriculum or program that you're using, but I'm assuming that most of these will be similar or if not the same ones she's learning. Um, and I think there's like a ton of really awesome sight word flashcards and programs and stuff like that. These are just really cheap, so we went with these ones. Um, she knows her sight words pretty well. It's just now, after learning maybe like in August a couple, and now she's now into almost February, it's been hard for her to remember everything, so these are just going to be a good refresher. All right, so let's go to each kid individually now um, and what we got that are specific to them and just cater to their own likes and dislikes. The first things first, if you've been watching for a while, you know Olive loves anything that deals with art, drawing, writing, coloring, creating, that's her up her alley. And lately she's been asking for like more of a journal type of thing, even though she, I don't think she knows what journaling is still, but I found this one. I feel this was perfectly up her alley for her age. This is Unicorn Journal and Scrapbook. Um, and it's just pretty much repeating pages of like a little sketchbook, um, sketchbook, not scrapbook, sketch pages and then um, lined pages. Now these lines are very, very thin. They're gonna be hard for her to write because she's still in kindergarten and writes giant, but it honestly really doesn't matter. She can freehand and it doesn't really matter. But if she wants to try to write it in the lines, that'd be great too. Um, anyway, this is totally up her alley to be able to write and create her own stories and just have fun. They have all different kind of like doodles on each page, some butterflies and stars and candies and flowers and stuff like that. Um, and this was off of Amazon and then I found this which is a thousand plus ridiculously cute absolutely necessary crazy fabulous awesome stellar cool phenomenal stickers series one this is by fashion angels if you've been watching from my channel you've also seen that we've bought a number of items from that brand we really like them they're perfect for little like young kids who enjoy doodling and drawing and creating art stuff like that um, and this had a ton of different options like this one was series one but they had a ton of different 
book series. I just thought this was apt for her right now. Um, they just have a fun just stickers. I mean like kids love stickers. Olive loves loves stickers. She uses them to create and then she loves to use them as her hanging like tacks basically for the walls to decorate her room. There's just a bunch of like fun cute kawaii even style stickers. Um, I know she's gonna love it. So I just got her a big sticker book and I probably am gonna go ahead and get her also like a pack or like a scrapbook paper book you know just so she can create with that because that's what she really enjoys doing so I'll probably get some of that just so it's a little bit more durable paper or cardstock or something like that just something fun for her to use and then I also got these these were so freaking expensive I don't know why these are smensels so these were actually on sale I think they were like 30% off so I ended up getting them when they were 30% off um, I still paid $11 which is just insane to me um, over $11, but there are 10 pencils in here and they're all scented. So her school actually sells these for um, like Christmas or Valentine's Day or for birthday items and stuff and they send them to your classroom. But since she's virtually learning from home, she doesn't get that opportunity. And so um, I thought these would be really fun for her to have. She's, I mean like anything gimmicky for school supplies she loves. So these are all have scents like Jelly Donut, Orange Soda, Rainbow Sherbet, Black Cherry, Bubblegum, Jolly Watermelon, Blue, slushy all fun scents and they each come in like a plastic container i guess to hold the scent in as long as possible like i said before we're running low on pencils so this is totally going to work out with what we need but i mean that's just really expensive but i don't think she's ever like like scented pencils are just so fun and new i mean i didn't have scented pencils when we were kids but anyway so that is that all right and then ollie's like big gift which is sad to say that there's a big gift for valentine's day but this is actually a gift that my aunt or my aunt her aunt my sister-in-law sent her for christmas but it came like a, a month later or so so i decided they got so much stuff recently for christmas that i would save and give it to her for valentine's day from her aunt um and that is kid made modern arts and crafts library so once again totally up her alley this is something she hasn't even had before or even dreamed that they probably had but it just has a bunch of different fun art supplies like pipe cleaners, popsicle sticks, little wooden dowels, pom-poms, googly eyes, felt pieces, um, beads, like so many different things she can create with. It comes with scissors, yarn, it comes with looks like some glue, probably like wooden glue to help like stick to that, adhere to that. There's a thousand plus pieces in this. Um, the back has some ideas of what you can create with it. So they have a bunch of like little figurines and people and cakes and like snails, flowers, all fun sorts of things. These may be a little bit too old for her, but she's like obsessed with learning about art. So I'm sure she could probably figure it out. Um, this is going to be something that I'm going to try really hard not to control and let her just explore and express herself the way she wants I have such a hard time with that when it comes to art with her because I'm like just do it like this or something and I want her to be able to just enjoy it and have fun so I think this will be such a fun item for her and a learning experience for me to step away but this would be just like a fun big mutual gift especially as like spring starts to happen but we're still stuck indoors for so long because it's so cold um, but I don't know it'd be good for a classroom it's cute. I know that she's going to love it. But like I said, I probably will get some scrapbook paper just so she has some extra stuff to create with too um, to go along with this as well. But she's going to freaking freak out when she sees that. Moving on to all of Eleanor. Um, so for Eleanor, the first thing is this pack of freaking squishies. Um, these are like the Moji, Moj Moj or mochi I feel like they feel like mochi I don't know what I don't know what they're called that was like a big um toy a couple of years ago the issue is that they see these toys on YouTube but it's like years old and then they want them and they don't have them anymore like the moj moj or whatever it was called I can't find them and it's like everything on Amazon and stuff is like way overpriced because they're discontinued so um I did find a pack of these which I feel like is equivalent they had really good reviews um, I feel like they're going to get gross really fast, but apparently you can clean them. I don't know how effective that is, but they're just little squishy little guys. They're just little squishy guys. So it's just like a fun sensory activity for her. Um, they're cute. They're squishy. They're in an individual packing, which alludes to me that they're probably sticky and collect fur and nastiness real quick. But like I said, apparently they're washable. So we'll see. Um, but they had really good reviews. I think they're fun. Eleanor is... 
Um, doesn't necessarily have like sensor, sensory processing disorder or anything like that. But she really, really enjoys sensory toys and activities. Um, she, I think, struggles with a lot of anxiety. It's kind of something we're kind of walking through with her pediatrician right now over something that we think she may be struggling with um but she really really enjoys sensory toys and activities because they really calm her down and comfort her um and so i know that she's going to end up getting a lot of use out of these regardless if they get gross or not because they're just totally up her alley and to go along with that kind of thing i found this um this guy is called sequin pets it's from creativity for kids this was from amazon as well and it's a flippable sequin stuffy so i feel like flippable sequins are like making a comeback lately with like toys and clothes and stuff like that eleanor is really really into it once again it's just a calming relaxing activity and it's something she can concentrate on and just really enjoys the sensory input that she gets from it um this one is just really really nicely made he's really heavy um duty the sequins are easy to flip that's something she gets really frustrated if she finds a flippable sequin item and they're really hard to flip she gets frustrated so this one's these are really really easy to flip they're not like coming off um he's just a really nice quality little guy he's the hedgehog they do have a unicorn one as well but they didn't have that when i ordered this one but this he's called happy the hedgehog um and they come with a pack of reusable stickers that she can decorate with him with i don't know how long those will last but it's more of the actual activity of the flippable sequence he is a toy award winner um and he's really nice like i think he's a really great quality item if you're looking for uh, your little who really enjoys flippable sequins as well or like sensory like sensory input this may be a good idea for you um she's screaming outside out there right now Anyway, he's really cute. I probably would have gone with the unicorn had I had the option, but he's adorable still. And I think she's really gonna like him. So I do definitely recommend him. I think he's great. Um, nice quality one. All right, lastly, I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna end up giving this to her now or we're gonna wait for her birthday, but um, we were able to get these on sale. So I just went ahead and got this one as well. another rainbow eye so this one is from the series two this is stella monroe she's adorable she's fuchsia hot pink really cute the issue with these is like i enjoy them so much too like i love being able to take them out for them and get them all ready and cute so they can play with them that it's so hard for me like not to want to buy them all because they're so freaking pretty and cute um they had a valentine one that came out that was adorable and i was so about her and they were just not interested she's like limited edition i'm like guys you're gonna want her and you're not gonna be able to get her and they were not interested so i'm like this close to buying her for myself so when they ask for me to play i'll be like don't worry i got my own but i feel like i'm strong in line all right i'm a 30 year old woman but they're just beautiful um anyway so i don't really mind buying them i definitely feel like these are worth the price i, I might have already said that already but i definitely really like them so this is the one that she asked for we have the whole rainbow and then some so i do really like them a lot um my best place to buy those by the way i recommend is target normally they're on sale or have some sort of discount going on and they typically are always in stock target is like the place for the rainbow high ones it's where i always find them all um okay is that all for her i guess that's all for her so i next i'm going to share with you guys clothes that i got them normally i get clothes um during valentine's day and during easter and then a couple more items as we transition to summertime this is normally when we start our transition it's still pretty cold here in texas but we'll slowly start warming up it's been a pretty mild winter anyway it'll slowly start warming up soon um and so these things will just be ready to go in their closet for them um but that's it for the toys so if you're done with this video and you don't want to see clothes thank you so much for stopping by but if you want to see them just stay tuned first things first i'm going to share with you is pack of pair of shoes that i got for each girl i got these both at walmart um normally i get their jellies for them during easter time so i may end up just saving these for easter um normally i get more like rain boots like last year last year i got rain boots those are still coming in handy and as i'm sure it'll be really wet here soon um in texas they'll be using those more but just to get these because they normally sell out really fast in their sizes and it's a pain so i found these these are the wonder nation ones these were only 587 these are for eleanor they're just fun ombre little jellies we've had this design or this like style before and we like them they last pretty much just like the summertime but that's fine it's pretty much what they wear every single day and then we just get them new ones next year um these little mermaids they're really cute i literally could smell jellies for hours i know that's so weird 
I love the smell of jellies. They just smell like memories in summer. Anyway, so these are Eleanor's, but like I said, I will probably keep them until Easter. So you may see these these in their Easter basket video. Um, but I want to share them with you now just in case they sell out and you can get your hands on them now. These are olives. They also have like a unicorn version of those ones, but I didn't like them as much. These were right next to them, so I decided to go with these instead. These are some Jojo Siwa jellies. Um, these are little unicorn ones as well. There's like fuzz coming out of this one. I don't know what that is. I have to cut that. Anyway, but they're ombre as well. They're really cute, big bows. Um, Olive, still really like Jojo Siwa. Um, not as obsessed as she used to be, but these are unicorn mostly anyway, but she still likes her. Um, these were $9.97, so they were a bit more expensive than those that one, but they're, de they're definitely a bit more nice. Uh, higher quality of them. I'm hoping that since they were a little bit more expensive and a bit higher quality that these last a little bit longer so Eleanor can end up wearing them the following year. Um, they smell great. <laughs> I love them and I like the cushy pads inside. Um, this one, these have really nice cushions inside. Anyway, so those are olives and the last bit of stuff were all from Old Navy. Old Navy's been having it with killer sales lately so I just got a couple pieces for each girl. Um, like I said, um, we're transitioning to spring soon and so I just wanted a couple things that they can start wearing soon if not like now um, or waiting a little bit longer until it gets a bit warmer but that shouldn't take too long. Um, first things first, I did get this for Eleanor. This was not from Old Navy. This was from Walmart. This was in the toddler section. These are the Wonder Nation dresses. She's gotten a couple of these last year and loved them. She wore them nonstop. Um, these are just really easy little play dresses. Like I said, we're looking for play clothes, something cute and easy, and she loves pretty little dresses like this. And I love little bright fun rainbow. Last year she had a pastel one that we loved. This is in a size 4T. It was only $4.96. I think this is such a cute little dress. Um, and they have different patterns and stuff, but that is the one that I think she'd like the most. Um, I also love the Duranimals leggings. These were on sale or clearance for $3. So I just got a pack of these because she, her pants are just, she's grown like a weed because she has such long legs. Um, all right. So moving on to their clothes from Old Navy. So I'll just start with Eleanor's first. I got this little sweatshirt, which I thought was so cute. It's just this fun little ombre, um, sweatshirt type of thing so this is definitely something she can wear now um, but it's it's huge so this is a 4t I believe yeah it's a 4t it's really really big so I definitely think she'll be able to get like a couple years at least this year next year's wear out of it which is nice it's really nice and soft on the inside it's cute I liked the dye um, yeah I liked the dye so that is that I don't remember how much these ones cost they were all on sale though um, but he got total of all of this stuff, I think was under $70. So around $70. Um, next she picked out this dress actually, when I was looking online on my phone, she spotted it and she really liked it. They had a bunch of different colors. They actually had a rainbow one, which I really liked, but she liked this one better. So I got this one instead and it's just a really, really, really soft, like cozy knit. Um, and it's this really adorable camo green one. Um, it has little buttons, little Henley style kind of buttons. It is so soft and comfortable. This is perfect for now. She can wear it with like little leggings and tights underneath it. And then come spring, she can take the tights off and just have it um, on like that. And I think it's really cute. It's really nice and soft. Um, so that is hers. And then lastly, I got her these little pack or this, this pair of leggings. They're tie dye blue. They're a bit deeper in person than coming on camera because they're being washed out. They have little hearts tie-dyed in them. They're adorable. These are full length ones. And then I got this top to go along with it, which is really, really soft as well. It's just this really cute tie-dye little heart and it crisscrosses with like a little keyhole design in the back. Um, also a size 4T. I think that's adorable. It's so cute. They're both so into like tie-dye and bright colors and ombres and stuff like that. Okay, so for Olive, I got her this little t-shirt I think is adorable. It'd be so fun for Valentine's Day, but it's not overly Valentine's Day, so she can easily wear this, you know, without it being like, oh, wow, you're wearing a Valentine's shirt. Not that that matters. That doesn't really matter at all. Anyway, but I just thought it was really cute. It's just this really pretty, like, chambray blue almost color um, with little fun little white hearts on it. It has little lettuce edges um, on the sleeves and on the bottom and then these adorable little buttons that are not usable. 
they're faux but they're cute and so that is that and then <laughs> she's been begging for crop tops begging for crop tops i have not wanted to get her one because she's six um but i saw these on old navy's website and they looked like slightly cropped like similar to that this the my little pony where it's like a slight crop where it's not going to show your belly but it looks like it's shorter not like a long one that would cover their booty so i ordered it nowhere in the description or like on the like title at least when i bought it they might have changed it by now do does it say cropped mind you nowhere i get them look at that look at that that's so cropped my mom thinks they're adorable which is surprising because i thought she would be like no but she thinks they're adorable and it will be totally fine for her so once my husband sees he's probably gonna have a heart attack but this is what this is what's happening anyway um i got her <laughs> these leggings to go with them. I'll show each of them in a second. These are high-waisted, so I'm hoping that that helps. They're just like fun, bright colored, corally neon ones, and they have like this lattice back to them. Um, yeah, so hopefully these work. <laughs> these are size extra small. I'm kind of wishing I went to a small. I thought I went to a small in their pants, but I guess I didn't. I wish I went to a small because I think um, she's definitely in the salt size, size small with their pants at least but we'll see you may have to try these on and see if it size up but I got a kind of powdery blue and then that neon corally color uh, for the neon coral shirt I got this little shirt that says more love more love thought it was really cute fun ombre design um and then I love this one which says girl power and it's tie-dye thought that was really cute did not expect it to be so cropped we're gonna roll with it so um i think that is it i mean i that sounds insane to say i think that's it because that's definitely a lot of stuff but like i said it's a pandemic we're been at home i've been spoiling them like crazy they've been such amazing little kids and deserve all of this and more i know it's not their way to their heart is gifts but it's just fun for me to be able to spoil them so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it lived up to your expectations. I've had so many of you guys reach out and ask when this was coming, so I hope you enjoyed it. I will have everything linked that is shoppable below. Um, like I said, pretty much everything came from Amazon or Walmart with the occasional stuff from like Old Navy or like Target, but the most of the stuff came from those two places. So should be easy to get them before valentine's day um thank you guys so much for watching let me know below what you guys are going to do for valentine's day if you're doing love boxes for your kiddos or if you're not if you're going with your hubby or your partner whoever if you're going out my husband and i are taking a little vacay um by that i mean like the town over which is 20 minutes away <laughs> we're gonna stay at a tiny house and i'm really excited about it um and not see anybody and be socially distanced but i'm really excited to kind of like have a little time away we have not had time away since the pandemic started so and i am in desperate need of it for my mental health um and for just our relationship we need some time so i'm really really looking forward to that but that's what we're doing and then we're gonna have um like a fun little valentine's day with the girls so let me know below what you guys are doing and let me know how you're doing i know we're getting there friends we're getting there so Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.